good morning and welcome to our MST and Eastern Open Day online, in particular this morning for our information session. My name is Daisy and I'm the Dean of Students here at the college. We're delighted that you've joined us today to learn a little bit more about Melbourne School of Theology and Eastern College Australia. At the end of the session, we will be having a time for questions. Um, so please put any queries you have in the little Q&A box on your screen. So we'll be using that Q&A box and not the chat. We'll be covering a lot of info the, uh, this morning in a really short time. So if your questions aren't answered, can I encourage you to um, use the information we'll be putting in the chat a little bit later to give us an email or a call to book an appointment with myself or someone in our student services team. We'd be delighted to chat with you to talk through study options specifically for you. Before I continue, please also note that this session is being recorded and we'll be putting some helpful links in the chat as we go along. So keep an eye out for those as well. But if you joined us for chapel already this morning, we hope you found hearing from our principal team to be encouraging and a little taste of what it's like at the college, even when we're not on campus. And if you requested an info pack, we hope that you find those helpful. And if yours hasn't arrived yet, it will be on its way to you. Well, you've probably joined us today because you're considering study at either Melbourne School of Theology or Eastern College Australia. We are two colleges, but one community, and we'll continue to unpack that this morning. It's important to start with what unites us, and that is the vision to train and equip Christians for life and ministry in whatever role they play, from church ministry, mission, leadership, counselling, as a teacher or a business leader, uh, to the great hope of wanting to know God and his scriptures in a deeper way. The, this looks a little bit different for each of the colleges within our course offerings, and so I'm going to explore that a little bit more this morning as well. But our history is a huge part of who we are, and for MST, this year is 101 years of teaching in Bible, theology, and mission, and you may recognize some previous names of the college like MBI or BCB. And Easton has been around for a little over 30 years and was previously Tabor Victoria. With roots in Bible and theology, Easton's focus is now on training for vocations, teaching, counselling, chaplaincy and transformational development from a biblical foundation. Both are non-denominational colleges and this produces the opportunity for deep faith, sharper minds and a really rich community. These two colleges are an incredible community for unique study opportunities. You'll find that some faculty teach across both the colleges and there may be opportunity for some cross institutional studies as well. We'll jump into some of these study areas and options a little bit later, but let's talk about student life. I myself started out as a student back in 2015 and completed a Bachelor of Theology um, before starting my role here. So I can certainly not only speak with knowledge uh, with you today, but my personal experience as well. The student life at MSC in Easton is rich and diverse, as I just mentioned. We have students from many different cultural and denominational backgrounds, not just here um, in our campus in Montana, but scattered all over Australia and the world. Students can study uh, online from anywhere in the world with some of our courses, as well as on campus in Montana, where we have um, beautiful views of farm fields and lots of parking, um, space for community events and our weekly chapel services like what we had this morning. One of our testimonies that our students have is compared to lots of other big universities, the thing they love about MST or Eastern is the community culture, not only amongst the students, um, but between students and faculty as well. Lectures um, commencing in prayer and faculty are constantly checking in with their students to make sure they're tracking okay, understanding everything. Uh, and you may even spot them around the place having a round of table tennis. <laughs> Students are able to study uh, full-time or part-time as well, um, with a mixture of day, evening classes and intensive options available. Between both colleges, we offer courses from vet level certificates to diplomas and bachelor degrees, all the way through to masters and doctoral awards by research, such as PhDs. 
Of course, please keep in mind that all of our courses come with different delivery modes, study options and entry requirements. So be sure to check those out on the website or make a time to chat with us. So let's dive into some college specifics um, and start by offerings uh, from MST. Many of you uh, might be wondering why I consider Melbourne School of Theology? What is it that sets us apart from other Bible colleges? This is a great question and certainly one that may be at the forefront of your mind when deciding to study as well. While MST celebrates working alongside many Bible colleges in Melbourne, some of the things that make MST distinctives um, are the following. We're affiliated and accredited by the Australian College of Theology, which is a consortium of 16 colleges scattered all over Australia. The ACT are therefore one of the largest theological colleges in Australia and renowned for thorough training and high academic standards. We love being a part of the ACT. And while this sets a great standard, we also have freedom to focus on key areas of training and academics. At MST, you're able to complete diplomas, bachelor degrees, graduate diplomas, masters and higher degree by research awards as doctors of philosophy or doctor of ministry, for example. All of our courses have core units in Bible and theology with an extensive list of uh, elective areas to focus on ranging from pastoral care, leadership, apologetics, systematic theology, um, spirituality, missions, and heaps more. <laughs> uh, we have some focused webinars on some of these topics later today as well. Our courses range from one year to diplomas to two to three year degrees, as I mentioned, both at undergraduate and graduate master's levels. Um, all of our courses at MST can be completed either full-time or part-time. Uh, on campus, online, or a blended mixture of on campus and online. MST also has a Chinese department uh, with a number of courses of being offered in Mandarin. And we have some students who have done units in both Mandarin and English with their studies uh, with us, which is really cool. Another distinctive is the Arthur Jeffrey Center for the Study of Islam. This is a leading voice in Islamic studies with the opportunity for research or elective units within our MST courses. To round out our suite of research centers with both MST and Eastern is the new Center for Missional Engagement. And Dr. Kirk Franklin, who is the director, uh, will be sharing in our 7 p.m. session on preparing for mission. Also the Center for Theology and Psychology, which you can hear more about in our 8 p.m. session um, from the director, Dr. Michael Brodigan in our chaplaincy, pastoral care and counseling webinar, as well as our centers and our campus in Wontona and online. There are study options uh, with us through some other campuses such as Worldview in Tasmania, doing applied linguistics with SIL or the Christian Youth Camp CYC internship. Many students are still discerning where the Lord may be leading them uh, to start at MST or Eastern. So if this is you, know that you're in good company today. I do love how there's a contrast in the sense that through this unique two college community, while values and core are the same, the courses differ and it's such a joy to champion one another and something we should always already do as part of the body of Christ. So now let's jump into some Eastern specifics. So maybe you're wondering, why should I become a teacher or a counsellor, for example, from a Christian perspective anyway? The value of this is not only so you can have the opportunity to dive into scripture while also doing your degree to be qualified in a Christian setting, but to represent Christ in everyday life, in public schools, in the business world and other secular environments. So some focus areas. Firstly, VET. Now, VET isn't looking after animals, but it stands for vocational education and training. And these are our certificate three and four courses. And we have those in the area of chaplaincy and pastoral care, education support for being teacher's aides, uh, and Christian ministry and theology. 
Our vocational courses are practical, both in learning and assessment. Placement is often involved and lots of hands-on assessment. So no big essays or exams. Um, so if you're new to tertiary studies, this is a really great place to start um, for your vocation or stepping into further studies down the track. And remember, all our courses are also nationally accredited. Eastern also offer diplomas, bachelor degrees, graduate level diploma and master's degrees in the area of teaching and education, the arts and social sciences, including counselling and transformational development. If you're unsure whether to do Bible college and then teaching or a counselling degree or the other way around, you can actually do both at Eastern. Most degrees have required Christian Foundation core units in Bible and theology and all courses um, are ta taught from a Christian worldview. As we mentioned earlier, there's also possibility for cross-institutional study with MST and that's subject to your um, rules of your course. As you can see, there is a myriad and mountain of course options and opportunities both at MST and Eastern. It can be overwhelming, so we're glad that you're here today and I encourage you to please make an appointment and have a chat with someone about your study options. Now, a big practical question you're all probably wondering is, what is the application process? So we're gonna pop a slide up on the screen for you to be able to share. And I'm going to go through the basic application process to study at MST or Eastern. The first thing to do is uh, start by submitting an application online. And these applications are found on the websites by clicking any of the apply now buttons. There's also some documentation required alongside your application. This includes things like transcripts from previous studies, pastoral references, ID documents, that sort of thing. Once you've received your application, your documents, you'll have an interview with one of our faculty. When your application has then been approved, you'll receive a, a letter of offer and acceptance into your new course of study. And from there, it's just a matter of selecting your units and enrolling in them. We also have an orientation for new students at the beginning of each semester uh, for you to attend and be informed about getting started on your study journey. Now a quick note for school leavers, and these are very exciting points. The first one is there's no need to apply through VTAC. You can apply directly with us online, even before you get your ATAR score, just to get the process started. There's also no CASPER test required as our requirements for that are covered elsewhere in the application process. Another note for everyone is that applications for our next intake are open uh, and that would be due on the 30th of January for semester one next year and the semester will commence in late February. For those who are interested in studying with MST, particularly online and don't want to wait till next year, we do have a summer semester intake and applications for that are now open uh, and they'll be due on the 30th of October. Now, please know that you don't need to remember all of this today. Once you've submitted an application, we'll email you with what's required um, and be here to help you throughout the process as well. So as I begin to slowly wrap up um, and move into our question time, I will make a note on fees. So as I'm doing that, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the Q&A box as we'll cover those shortly. Okay, so fee help is available for all of our courses for eligible students in higher education, so that's diploma and upwards. And you may also be eligible for AusStudy, Centrelink payments, if you're studying full time and eligible for those as well. For those interested in the Bachelor of Education or Master of Teaching, which is our initial teacher education courses, we do have CSPs available and they are Commonwealth supported places. Uh, a note for VET, we don't have VET fee help for our certificate courses, however we do have payment plans available um, and students can pay their fees off over the time of their course, you don't need to pay everything right at the start. And the VET fees are significantly um, cheaper than some of the higher ed fees, so don't let that deter you, it is a really great um, place to start. Some of our VET courses, include, including chaplaincy, um, have uh, different government fundings available and I'd be happy to chat with you more about that if you're interested in a certificate course as well. 
Well, we've made it to our question time. So we'll pop this slide down and begin doing some questions. Um, so if you have any questions as we go along, um, please don't hesitate to put them in the Q&A box. So let's have a look uh, at what we have. So one of the first questions is, uh, do we have ATAR requirements for all courses? Um, yes, for most courses, there is some kind of prerequisite um, or ATAR required for undergraduate degrees. Um, if you're a school leaver and don't get the ATAR you expected, don't let that deter you. We do have different pathways. As I mentioned, VET is a really great pathway. Uh, if not, if you're hoping to be a teacher, you can enter into our Diploma of Arts program at Eastern, uh, do the one year diploma and then transfer into the bachelor degree after that. Uh, so that's a really great one. Okay. Uh, can I do graduate level course at MST if I don't have a bachelor degree in theology or ministry? Yes. Um, so doing a graduate degree at MST, often coming into a graduate diploma or a Master of Divinity, something like that, your previous degree, and lots of our students will do this, they'll have a background in business or design or commerce, they've done a degree in another area and they want to come and study further. Um, and if that's you, you would then be eligible to apply for one of our graduate level courses. Okay, we've got a question, who is eligible for VET? That's a really great question. Um, so our certificate for level courses, um, there's no school entry requirements um, or that sort of thing available for VET. It's really an accessible course, um, really for anyone. <laughs> um, there's different language requirements and that sort of thing, but it is a really great place to start. Another question, if we have any government funded programs. Uh, so MST uh, doesn't have, uh, MST or Eastern actually, we don't have any um, scholarships at the moment, um, but we do have fee help. So we're able to use a government fee help loan to pay for your fees in higher education. Um, and as I mentioned, some of our VET courses do have uh, a skills first government funding available, but that's just to eligible people. So it depends on what course you're wanting to do. So I encourage you to send us an email about your specific course and we can give you some more uh, information about that. Uh, another question, uh, can I begin a counselling degree or do I have to have a diploma course to begin studying? No, if you meet the entry requirements, you can definitely jump straight into a bachelor level uh, counselling degree. Uh, for sure, um, but you can always start in the diploma. That's a great place um, to start as well. Another question. Uh, to study to be a teacher, would it be recommended to study at Eastern rather than MST? Yes, so Eastern um, offer initial teacher education courses that are nationally accredited. Graduates are then eligible to apply with the VIT to become a teacher in Victoria and Australia. Uh, MST don't offer teaching courses. Uh, while some of our education courses, you may be able to do a couple of electives at MST um, when doing a teacher degree, it is an Eastern uh, qualification that you would be completing. Um, the Bachelor of Education, as I mentioned as well, does have a lot of Christian Foundation core units. So you're definitely going to get um, a big intake of Bible and theology in your learning as well, which is really cool. All right, we're getting lots of questions. This is really great. So I'll keep going through this. All right, one question. Can you explain again how MST and Eastern are two colleges but one community? Yes, for sure. So we have different accrediting bodies. So we're two separate colleges, but in terms of community, we are one. We have, uh, we share the campus. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, we do have a number of faculty that will teach across both of the colleges. Um, we have student events together uh, and that sorts of thing as well. That answers that question. All right, let's keep looking through. Lots of thank you messages. I appreciate that. 
Uh, and as I mentioned, um, if your question isn't answered today, please, um, we're going to put some information in the chat, some email addresses if you'd like to book an appointment to have a chat with myself or our MST registrar, someone within our student services team to talk about specific uh, study options for you. Please do that. We'd love to make a time and chat with you. And once things open up, have you come and visit the campus and that sorts of thing as well. Okay, we've got a question about where's the list of subject offered in the evenings next year for semester one and two. Great question. Currently on the MST website, if you go to the timetable section, you'll be able to see um, the units that we're planning to offer over the next few years. And the timetable is currently being finalised uh, in just a few days. Uh, hopefully we'll have everything ready to go. So yes, again, if you contact us, we'll be able to let you know details about the timetable and they'll be published shortly for you to be able to view on the website as well. Uh, the Eastern timetable will be published directly on the Eastern website as well. So if you jump online, go to the timetable section, um, once that's updated, you'll be able to see all the, the units and when they'll be running next year. It's a great question. Okay, keep looking through. Are there any psychology courses or just counselling? At the moment, we have at Easton our focus in our bachelor degree, which is a Bachelor of Applied Social Science in Counselling, and that allows graduates to become registered counsellors in Australia. It does have a few uh, psychology units within it. Uh, but they are psychology for counselling units specifically um, and also our Master of Community Counselling, quite similar. Uh, at MST, we have a new graduate certificate uh, for pastoral care and mental health uh, and that's just four units and they're really specific to pastoral care and mental health. So that's a great um, option as well if you're wanting to do some foundational pastoral and counselling type units. Um, the CTP, our Centre for uh, Theology and Psychology that I mentioned a little bit earlier, um, has a whole bunch of uh, research options, leadership training programs, uh, and our session tonight at uh, 8pm with Dr. Michael Brodigam. He'll be sharing a little bit more about that. So if you're interested in that area, I encourage you to come along if you can. Okay, we've got heaps of questions. This is really great. Looking through. Okay, so this is a great specific question. Uh, what is the benefit of doing a CERC for CMT, uh, which is our Christian ministry in theology, rather than jumping in straight to courses at MST? This is a great one. Again, it's really a great uh, foundational course. So if you're new to tertiary study, this is a great place to start. Um, or if um, you are fairly new Christian and you're wanting to get some foundational Bible and theology um, background before jumping into a degree, um, this is a really great place to start as well. The cool thing is, um, if you were to do that and then jump into a degree at MST, you'd be able to get a couple of units of credit transfer um, to get you started along the course as well. So it's a really great option for you. Okay, so someone's got a question. I'd like to make a booking uh, for study courses and other advice. So yes, if you jump on our website, um, give us a call. Um, there's different ways you can contact us. So through contact forms on the website, give the college a call and speak to our reception or send us an email and you'll be able to book an appointment to have a chat with someone. It's a really great question. Um, so I might make that our last question as we've uh, gone through lots of things this morning. Let's conclude our in, uh, study session for today. So I hope you found it helpful um, and we do look forward to chatting with you further about study options to suit your study needs. Um, so please don't hesitate to um, contact us about that. Our open day online schedule does continue throughout the day, so please watch as many webinars as you're able to. Uh, coming up next at 12.30 is an introduction to biblical studies and spiritual formation at MST in Easton with Dr. Tom Kimber and Dr. Greg Forbes. So uh, that's a, what's next. If you're considering doing teaching at 2 p.m. with Associate Professor Jenny Bickmore-Brand and one of our education course coordinators, 
7 p.m. is our Preparing for Mission in a COVID Reality World with Dr. Kirk Franklin. And then lastly, at 8 o'clock, a conversation about pastoral care, chaplaincy and counselling at MST in Easton with Dr. Michael Bordigam and Dr. Angelo Chellin. Um, but once again, thank you for joining us.